Oh God, phase three just opened up again. I'm excited for New York, but gyms aren't open again. Uh, I don't know what time it is, but my wife and baby are still sleeping and I still gotta get the workouts in every morning, you know? Can't break schedule, can't break routine, can't break habit. But man, do I miss like a gym. You remember those times? Actually, you know what? You okay? Dude, are you seriously? Can't take a little punch? What is this, your second day vlog? Oh, it is your second day vlogging. Amelia and the baby are gonna be pissed. Let's go, we gotta go. Work life balance, come on. Where's my baby? Pooper? Where's the pooper? Zebu? Zebu? Oh. Oh my goodness. Come meet Jack. Did you pack him today? Yeah. Zebu, come here. Where's my Zena? She's scared. Just vlogging today. All day? I mean, they're following me most of the day. A little bit, but not a lot. Hi, Zebu. Hi, wife. Hi, Dad. Have you met Jack? I have, briefly. Oh, Zena, why are you so quiet? Because suddenly you came home and she's excited and some kid comes home right behind you. She's scared. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who is a baby? Say hi, Jack. Zena, what do you think about my work-life balance? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Do you want to see more of me? Yeah? Don't fall on your face. Why do you put strawberries on your face? <laughs> this is our baby. <laughs> oh, no. You want to get down? Ugh. Okay, you wanna get back up? In the mornings, I run, run around, push ups, sit ups this whole time. Come back, I take a shower, I drink my dandelion root, I take my vitamins, uh, Amelia gets ready, and this is my time with the baby before I go to work. But I wish I could spend all the time with her. And when she grows up, she's like, my dad worked hard. Yeah. <laughs> How do you do it? Is yeah. that for real? Yeah. Oh! 97.8. Wait, you are. What is she? 100? The same. No. The same. same Work life family. balance. <laughs> Ryan's work-life balance. He has no work-life balance. Whoa, 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 You don't whoa. have any work-life balance. What does that even mean? It's exactly <coughs> what I said. You don't have it. You don't know how to balance work and life. That's not true. It that is. goes against everything that I've ever said. I think I balance them pretty well. <laughs> You're with me right now. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You can edit things out. What do you think I put first, work or life? Work. That's not true. 100% true. I don't think so. Yes, but you are young and it's the time for you to do that. And if you're gonna do anything and work hard, it should be now. And Zena's young, and even when you see her in the morning, it's a big deal for her. It's like super exciting and it makes her happy. And then spending some time with her on the weekend is also awesome. I think that was pretty awesome. That's pretty great, Puff. Right? Yeah. Okay. We'll edit so, out yeah. all the stuff that makes me sound bad. Puffer, I think you need to be honest. <laughs> Why? You shouldn't be selling this crazy dream to people. It's like women who say you can have it all, you can do it all. You can't. I think you need to learn to be okay with not giving 100% to every single thing in your life. We're human beings. We can't. I think communication is a big part of it too, right? Absolutely. So it's like, it's not like I wake up every day, go off to work, come home and don't tell you why I go to work or what I'm working on or what's going on. You know what I'm doing, yeah. you know? It's not like I get up, go to the bank, come home and I'm like, don't talk to me about my work, right? What is yeah. that, Godfather, Al Pacino? <laughs> I do think though that you, as a 
couple, you need to have the same goal. If you yeah. don't, and you're not on the same page. It doesn't work. I do think you're really good at talking about things or involving me or making me a part of it, and that's nice. We should do a day where we trade lives. Oh my God, we should. I'll be at home oh with the baby all day. I'll be exhausted. That means and when that you get home, I would actually wear normal clothes. I would get my hair done. I would look like a human being, and I'd have conversations with adults. That'd be so much fun. We should do that. I would probably be really exhausted. And when you get home, I just want to talk to you, and you'd be like, oh, "I've had a lot to do today. We had a lot of people yelling at me. Could you just give me space?" And then I'll just sit there by myself, and I would just start thinking about but Josh I, Brolin. You have it easy. You come home. You do what you want. Somebody makes your food or heats it up or whatever. YouTube, so hot in the city. I'm never here right now. Walking through the construction sites all day. Also, do me a favor, like this video right now. If you don't forget, like it, subscribe, send it to your friends. Well, listen, I, listen, I know Amelia says I'm not great at work-life balance, so maybe I have to work on it, but I think that I do the best I can given the circumstances. Am I home all day long? No. Does she want me to be home all day long? No. But do I love work? Do I love the passion of building and doing everything we're doing and creating all these new businesses and new opportunities and helping agents all around the world with the course, which has blown up in the last couple months? You know, we do three things, okay, Amelia and I. Sundays, we go through the calendar. That way we're on the same page. She has approval on anything I do after 6 p.m. as long as I talk about it and know about it ahead of time. And things come up all the time, but I run it by her. That way it's a joint effort, right? I'll BCC her on certain emails, that's the other thing, so that she knows kind of what I'm going through that day. If there's anything insane, she knows not to respond even though sometimes she wants to. That way when I get home, she's like, oh yeah, no, I saw that. That's crazy. That way it's not a sit down, how was your day? How was your day? Right? We don't do that. And lastly, Saturdays are for the baby. Does that mean that I put my phone down and don't look at it all day? No. This is 2020. If people want to buy or sell homes, I'm on top of it. And if I got to go and do showings or do some work on Saturdays, I do it but I borrow the time, remember our vlog, thousand minute rule, okay? I borrow the time from my bank of time on Sunday. I will then put in two extra hours with the baby and with the family on Sunday. Now you might be saying, wow, Ryan, that sounds so fucked up. You know, that's too scheduled. You're not living your life. You're not doing that. Try it. It works. The other options are overwhelming. The other options have no reasoning. There's no logic. There's no structure. The other options are, man, I don't leave the life I want. I'm, I'm too busy all the time. Or I, fucking Gary, just drive, bro. I don't understand why we gotta get in fights with people all the time. Every, like, road rage capped him over here. Yeah, but now we gotta go back to the office. Actually, I can better describe the work-life balance process while making you an office. Welcome to the Sirhan Kitchen. I am here because I wanna show you the work-life balance broken down into four different steps, and I think the most visual way that I can show it to you is by cooking some omelets. And I've never cooked an omelet before in my entire life. Now, take a look over here. I've got this big, beautiful stove, and I have four pans on it. These four pans represent the work-life balance. This one is work, right? Work's important, you're at work all the time, I'm at work all the time. These three are then life. I've got health, work's more important, Health is important. And then I've got family and friends. We've got like the same size pans here because they're important, right? You need family, you need friends. What I wanna do is, I know Amelia said that I don't have a good work-life balance, but I wanna try to prove her wrong because I think I have a great work-life balance and I think I can make four omelets at the same exact time. And that's, that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna make them for the Surhant Media Group team here. We got Puma, we got Adrian, we've got Ange, and we've got Nick all the way from Florida who came up here just for our omelets. So, you know what, let's mix them first before we turn on the pans. Oh, <laughs> it squirted a little bit. All right, that one might have some shell in it. Don't worry about it. There's hiccups in life. There's hiccups all the time. This is gonna be the greatest omelet ever. Two of you are gonna have great omelets. Come on, stupid egg. Oh, that one's a puma. Puma, I got it. Don't Thanks. you worry. Thanks, Ryan. 
That one's you. That one's all you. Puma's a little crunchy. So, here's what we do. I'm making up these omelets, all right? I'm basically one of those people on one of the cooking channel shows that I've never watched. The theory is, is that to be successful, you need to turn off one of your burners. I think that's kind of bull I think I can keep all the burners on at all times. Oops, making a mess. Fucking cooking sucks. I like, that's why I like cooking, with people cooking for me. Okay, great. Gotta get dry. Okay, now, we cook. Work, health, family, friends. Or maybe this one was family that was friends. Whatever, they all look the same. No, hold on. Okay. Now I'm gonna put some butter on the pan. Get in there. There you go. I'm just gonna cut, smush it around like that. That's great. That's gonna be the big one. The work one's definitely Puma. That's for sure. Okay, so eggs first. We got Puma. We got whoever this one's gonna be. And we got these two. All right. Are you doing one at a time or are you gonna go? I'm doing, I'm doing work life balance. We're all at the same time. Oh. Dude, I'm making four omelets here, sort of. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Okay. So, like any relationship, you need to put salt and pepper on it. That's what my wife says. So, a little salt. This work omelet's gonna be a little bit f***ed up. Come on, work. This is family. You look pretty good. Friends, you look real thick. There you go. Perfect, you good? You happy now? Who are you people again? We work for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you guys are up here, right? You're in the work, you're in the work section. Now, most people, according to the four burner theory, are gonna say, you can't do it this way. You can't make four omelets at the same exact time. In order to be successful, you gotta turn off one burner. But you know what I say? I say, F that theory. I'm keeping all burners on all at the same time. I'm gonna make four delicious, beautiful, is that burning? Yeah. Four. <laughs> How are they burning? They're not even ready yet. Like I was saying, I can cook all four at the same time. This one's gonna have a problem, but they're going to be fine. Get off. Sometimes you gotta push your friends. This one's friends. Sometimes the friends don't wanna come with you. So we push them. Yes, you hear that crackle? That's, that's a successful life right there. This one is Puma. He gets the big messy one. The four burner theory says you can't do all four burners at the same exact time. It says that you have to do them either individually, one by one, or if you wanna be successful, you gotta turn off one burner, or you can get leverage, okay? So I'll work on these two and Puma would come work on these two for me. So get help, etc. Don't touch my <laughs> don't touch me. I'm fine, okay? This is family right now. I'm taking care of my family first, okay? Taking care of my family first, this is good. Taking care of my friends now. This is health, I need to give it a little second. Health is important. Work is having a hard time. Something with this plate, it's not my fault. This is still not even cooking. I'm gonna give it a little bit more heat. This is Puma's. Puma also wanted to make me cry today. So his is gonna be a little bit messy. No, oh, now work. All work needed was some heat. So, here we go, hold on. Oh, it's crackling. Oh, 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 oh Chef Boyardee. Go ahead, do it perfectly, do it perfectly. Come on, move, move. Okay, sorry, yours is just a little bit too big and awesome. Oh. I present to you four omelets made at the same time. Wow, sir, what can't this man do? Actually, uh -huh. seriously. Side note, everything was prepped for me when I came up to the kitchen because I have a really, really, really busy day. So the team helped me by prepping all the ingredients, getting me the eggs, setting it up, having it all ready, which is a huge, huge help to me. So yes, did I make four omelets at the same time? Yes, but I did it with a lot of help from the media group team. So I'd like to give them a round of applause. Okay, okay, yep. And the best part about having a healthy work-life balance is that you can be super successful enough to say, you clean it. Oh. This is really good. <laughs> So, at the end of the day, work-life balance is really what you make of it. As long as you're happy, your partner's happy, your family's happy, your friends are happy, you can wake up at peace and go to bed at peace, then you have an amazing work-life balance. Be happy, focus on happiness, focus on kindness. Make sure your partner's happy, make sure your family's happy, and leave notes in the comments to tell me how much you can appreciate me, because that's it, I'm going home, end of vlog. <laughs> You want to see Dada? But Daddy's at work. <laughs> but he's at work. He's gonna come home and play with you hopefully soon. But he's gotta work. He's gotta sell big tall Hi. buildings. <laughs> he's gotta sell big tall buildings for you. So he can get you all these toys, see? Yeah?
love you, Daddy. Mm. I love Daddy.